So welcome to your PCR 2021. My name is Joost Daam and I'm an interventional cardiologist at the Erasmus University Medical Center in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. So in the recent years, there has been a lot of focus on post-PCI FFR since it's proved to, uh, to predict outcome, yet it's still uh, infrequently used because of the fact that the assessment of post-PCI uh, FFR can be cumbersome because of the lack of dedicated technologies uh, and the need to reuse uh, adenosine, which takes time. Still, there is little data on uh, how to improve a post-PCI FFR, or whether you have not to use a pullback, to use imaging, uh, use specific gradients, and uh, what is the exact threshold that needs to be used in order to optimize PCR, uh, post-PCI FFR. Finally, there's limited data uh, as to whether the uh, additional optimization following a low post-PCI FFR actually improves patient outcome. The FFR REACT trial was designed to investigate whether IVIS guided optimization in patients with a post PCI FFR below 0.90 would improve patient outcome as determined by one year target vessel failure rates. So between October 2017 and April 2020, a total of 620 patients were enrolled who underwent successful post PCI FFR assessment. Of those, a total of 291 patients had a post-PCI FFR below 0.90 and were subsequently randomized to either IVIS guided optimization, an arm that finally enrolled 145 patients versus a conservative arm which finally enrolled 146 patients. All remaining patients were followed in a prospective registry. In those who underwent optimization, post-PCI FFR significantly improved post-optimization. So the key feature of the FFR REACT trial was that we used HD IVIS uh, to assess the uh, intraluminal, uh, potential intraluminal residual pathologies in patients with a post-PCI FFR below 0.90. So the IVIS allowed us to really find the uh, causes of uh, low post-PCI FFR, which was demonstrated by the, uh, the presence of residual lesions in 30% of the cases, despite an uh, angiographically successful PCI we were able to identify the amount of underexpansion of malaposition and the presence of diffuse disease, which helped us to actually tailor the uh, post-procedural optimization strategy per patient based on the HD IVIS. So by using uh, IVIS to assess uh, post-PCI results, we were able to optimize the procedure in 80% of the cases by adding either additional stents in 30% of the cases, uh, cases or doing uh, additional uh, optimization of the previously implanted stent in uh, one out of three patients. So in the FFR REACT trial, we optimized 100 patients and we found only one optimization related complication, which uh, consisted of a minor dissection that was uh, resolved with a uh, additional stent. With that, we concluded that post-PCI optimization was a, a very safe maneuver if directed by IVIS. So as presented during the recent ACC meeting just, uh, just a week ago, uh, we focused on uh, the potential of post-PCI optimization in the IVIS arm of the, uh, of the FFR REACT trial. The next steps will be that we finalized enrollment in, uh, in April 2020, which means that we're currently finalizing the, uh, the one-year follow-up of the FFR REACT trial and will there be able to, uh, to address the uh, primary endpoint of the trial. Uh, which uh, consists of a potential uh, superiority of the IVIS guided optimization in patients with the post PCI FFR below 90 as compared to a standard conservative treatment strategy. Thank you for watching to the short five minute interview. Uh, we look forward to presenting to you the one year results of the FFR REACT trial shortly.